Hey guys, Flame and Shark back with another video, and this is the review to my blind commentary, blind reaction to My Hero Academia season four, episodes fifteen through seventeen. This is the next My Hero. This will be part. See, it started with Ben Ten, Kill a Kill, Ponyo, Steins Gate, Hunter Hunter. Okay, this will be day six of daily uploads. Yep, um, recording this. On Thursday, kind of late. This is going to be going up around a similar time to the Hunter video on the later side. Uh, the Ben 10 video tomorrow will probably go up more around the normal time. Uh, but we're looking at seven days because I did record both uh, My Hero Academia and Ben 10 yesterday. So I'm back a day ahead. And hopefully I get my Kill a Kill recorded today and stay a day ahead. But if not, oh well. But either way, really excited for more... Um, my Hero Academia when we finish the season, which will not be next time. We have two more videos for season four, but I'm really loving season four. It's been a whole hell of a lot of fun. It's really exciting, and we edge ever closer to Monogatari in this rotation slot. Mm. Um, Yeah, so these My Hero Academia episodes were kind of... Uh, Episode 15 was very much centered around kind of the aftermath of the Overhaul arc, the Shi Hasekai arc, Hasekai, however it was pronounced. Um, you know, we kind of had the the we show we we started with kind of replaying the very ending of episode 14, and of course, as my hero likes to do those type of things, and we kind of went over some of the aftermath of that. You know, the League of Villains still out there and. Who knows what they're planning, Tomura and all those other potatoes, and it's really spicy stuff. Um, we actually got a little glimpse of All for One in this set, and we saw some past dialogue between him and Kurogiri, and we learned about, and actually Kurogiri got captured, which was really weird, uh, but we also learned about this like super monstery guy who also was loyal to All for One, and uh, is going to be a problem for the heroes down the line, so it kind of... Like, they got Kurogiri, but the big boy has been unleashed. So, if anything, it was probably, you know, they're like, ah, oh, it wasn't really worth it in the end kind of type of thing. But, um, really strange that Kurogiri got captured. I don't know where they're going with that, but obviously there's no way Kurogiri is just done. Um, he's clear, he's too big of a part of the League of Villains, and he's... He's too cool, like, like not like, he wouldn't, like, he's too cool to just go down in such a, bo for lack of a better term, in such a boring way, really, if, for, like I said, lack of a better way to put it. Um, he, you know, we're gonna have to see what happens with him, I think it's gonna be very interesting, and, uh, I'm really excited to see what they do with him now that he's been captured, because I definitely am expecting something from that, either in the end of Season 4 or in Season 5, um... I'm really looking forward to it, though. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see what they do with Kurogiri and um, really all of the League of Villains. I think they have, a, they have a very interesting spot in the series right now, and I'm very excited for the direction that they go in because I don't really know where they're going with them, but wherever they go with them, it's probably going to be pretty exciting. Um, what else was going on? So we had a new OP in ED. Um, the OP was really interesting because unlike all the other OPs, which have felt related to the arc unless again unless the rest of the season goes in a direction i'm not expecting it was a very musical themed op um and it was kind of just filled with like 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 they were doing a concert and jiro had a big spotlight in the op which is pretty cool and it was just all themed about like doing like a whole like band like music concert style thing it was really weird it was really cool uh, but it very much did not feel like an OP, because usually the OPs are a little more plot relevant. Uh, this it kind of reminded me of one of the EDs of My Hero, and I don't know which ED it was, but I believe it was a Season 2 ED. I believe it was, I believe it was anyways, a Season 2 ED. But it was the one where it was kind of like they were all in like this RPG kind of fantasy game, and they were basically all like fantasy kind of styled characters. And I, I think you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but there's it kind of reminds me a little bit of that ED where it's like this alternate reality, alternate world kind of uh, story where it's like instead of being like 
you know, sup- at superhero high, we're at music high, or instead of being at superhero high, we're in this fantasy world, and I don't know, it just kind of had that, which is very much the vibes you get from a lot of EDs. For example, the current Kill a Kill ED I'm on very much kind of has similar vibes of like an alternate reality situation with the same characters. Stuff like that is common with EDs. So it was kind of weird to see something kind of like that with an OP, unless we're actually going down a freaking arc of um, music, which, I mean, I'd be down, but that would be very odd uh for what we've seen so far so i'm assuming we're not really going to have any arc so instead of an op kind of based around an overarching story for the rest of the season we're just going to kind of be going on all these kind of like little stories that don't really take more than a couple episodes to resolve so i think because we don't have any specific arc they kind of just decided to have fun with the op that's my guess as to what the deal is with that um, so we get to see, like, the provisional license exam training that Todoroki and Bakugo are going to, since they don't have their provisional hero licenses. We get to see them, we get to see Kami, we get to see, uh, the other guy, the guy with the whirlwind power, I can't think of his name right now, but we get to see all of them meet up, and basically have to inspire kids in a way where, you know, these, these piece of shit kids, in a way where they, he doesn't depress the kids, you know, they have to inspire the kids without dejecting them, but also not just letting them continue to be just rampant animals like they essentially were. And it was a really funny, like, episode or episode and a half or thereabouts. And, uh, yeah, we had some funny interactions come out of it, and it was pretty enjoyable. Um, that was pretty amusing. Um, I feel like there was something else that happened that I'm not thinking of off the top of my head, which is really potato, but there was something else that definitely happened, and I'm trying to think of it right now. Um, I'm actually, it's funny, uh, if you see me we're looking the other way, I'm actually uh, getting some stuff ready to edit the Ben 10 video as well, so I'm kind of just multitasking here to make sure you guys keep getting that daily content, and uh, even if I miss a day, to be as close to daily content for as long as possible, I'm really trying to be consistent over here. In fact, literally right after I finish recording this, before I actually upload the My Hero review and get the My Hero video up on YouTube, I am going to also be recording the Ben 10 review immediately after this um but yeah no this was a really solid episode and i actually think i legit i could be that was 17 i feel like i'm forgetting something that happened though let me pull up my uh notes here see if i could see anything that i'm missing because i feel like i'm forgetting to talk about something that happened in these sets that i actually thought i wanted to uh talk about um let me go here. Uh, no, that was actually pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, there was like a little bit of stuff with Endeavor and Todoroki, and their relationship is kind of evolving a little bit. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was really cool. Um, I, I will actually guess that maybe we're going to do like a festival um, because I don't know. Maybe <sighs> the more I think about it, I'm like, is there any chance? Maybe the OP is literal. I don't know. It just seems a bit out of place, but it would be really kind of fun, honestly. I don't know. God, it's going to be really interesting. But, uh, because, like, I could buy us having a festival, but I don't know. The music stuff seems a bit much, but uh, I don't know. I think it would be kind of funny, too, though. And, and Jiro getting focused would be amazing. So, yeah, if I had to guess, none of that in the, or the majority of the OP is not going to happen. But,. Then again, you know, I mean, that goes against uh, typically what happens with the OP, so I don't know. Um, apparently, I've talked for nine minutes, so this is going to do pretty well for the video. I guess I can just uh, blabber on for a little while about uh, links and stuff. So, day six of daily uploads. About to be day seven after uh, tomorrow. It'll be day seven, so we made it a full week. Uh, we made it... So yeah, we made it through every show in the rotation and back to the series that started this streak, which was Ben 10, in addition to also having a monthly movie reaction in Ponyo, we have the other monthly re movie reaction coming up pretty soon, which is Toy Story 4, uh, which should be out on the 14th of September. But anyways, uh, I am really enjoyed this uh these episodes, they weren't like as good as last time, but of course last time was the end of an arc, so it was really crazy, but you guys get the general gist of it. Anyways, um, obviously you'll have Mega and Breach TV links, um, which is the norm, at least currently. 
um, you know, assuming you don't watch this way in the future and something's changed regarding the links, but at least that's the deal for the time being. But uh, I'm really looking forward to getting some more um, My Hero done. Three more rotations is the plan. Plans to do 18 to 21 next time, then 22 to 25, and then the, uh, like I said, like OVAs and random shit that I didn't watch uh, in the past and just kind of have a fun little video where I watch a couple of those. Uh, as kind of a substitute for the fact that I'm not doing the movie because I've re recommended against doing the second movie right after season four. Um, <sighs> good stuff. But anyways, um, I guess I'll leave it off there. I don't really have anything else to say. So uh, Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.